Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Linux Temple. And few days earlier, I made a video on how to install the latest Manjaro Ornara on a computer. And if you don't know how to install Manjaro on a computer, you can watch this video. The link is in the description also. And today I'm going to present you 12 essential things that needs to be done after the fresh installation of latest Manjaro or Nara, which will make your Manjaro PC a complete one. And I hope you'll find this video useful. Okay, so let's get into the topic. So first we are going to choose the fastest mirror to have the fastest speed while downloading and installing packages. So I'm going to do this from the terminal and there are also some other graphical ways but simply I'm going to open terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt and T and then the command sudo pacman mirrors space iPhone and then fast track and I'll leave the commands in the description also and as we enter you need to insert the pseudo password So now this has selected the fastest mirror of our level and next we are going to perform system updates. So for this go to menu and then go to add or remove software. So there we have. So from here you can go to updates. So here my system is up to date since I did update just before and with the update I got the new KD Plasma version so you can see in the system information the KD Plasma 5.22 which is the latest one and if any updates are available for your system you'll get a list here you can select the updates and install them. And after this, we're going to install drivers on my computer. So for this, go to Manjaro settings. So from there, on hardware configuration, so there you can see the available drivers for your hardware. And they are already installed here. So there you can see the Broadcom Wi-Fi driver is already installed here. AMD Radeon SD graphics driver is already installed there. And the Intel graphics driver also installed here. So if you have any kind of NVIDIA GPU, you can install its driver from here. And if you want to remove the driver, you just simply right click on it and then remove. So now it will uninstall the driver and after this we are going to update the kernel and it's also available in the Manjaro settings manager so there you have kernel so it's currently running on 5.10 so we got the latest kernel 5.14 and it is in the experimental phase so either you can go for Linux 5.13.81. You just need to simply click on install. And as you click on OK, it will install the latest kernel on your system. Since the latest kernel includes a lot of system improvements, so it's recommended to use the latest kernel. And guys, if you are running on very old hardware, so it's recommended to turn off the composite. So for this go to the menu and then search for a compositor. So there you have. So there you can see I have already disabled the compositor. Since I've got some issue with my screen recording, I found some glitches on my screen recorded videos. That's why I had to disable this. And you can also disable this if you are running on very older hardware and this will 
improve the system performance as well so next i'm going to enable the dark theme go to system settings so here under appearance so they will have different global themes available so you can choose any one of them just select the theme and you can apply them but here i'm just going to simply select the dark color scheme so i'm going to select this one and apply and i guess this looks fine and this perfectly match with the manzaro theme and also you can activate the night light from the system tree so there you can activate night color you can adjust the color temperature here and this will save your eyes from the harmful blue light that you get from your computer monitor so there you can select the activation time so there we have sunset to sunrise at current location or you can always turn it on as well and as you click on apply night color has been activated but you may not see the difference in this screen recorded videos but i'm going to leave it to default sunset to sunrise apply so this means it will activate night color in the night time only and next we are going to enable aur which stands for ars user repository which is a larger collection of software and packages so for this you have to go to add or remove software and there under preferences you need to insert your password for that and then go to third party and there you can see enable aur support so you just need to enable this so now you'll have access to the larger collection of different softwares and packages and now we're going to install microsoft true type fonts that is ttf ms fonts since most of us use microsoft office and there we have different microsoft native fonts and if we are going to use those documents here in manzaro which does not support microsoft ttf fonts by default you may not read those characters properly so that's why we are going to install microsoft fonts so for this if you search for ttf ms fonts so there we have microsoft fonts so in order to install them just click on build then apply apply and now it will install microsoft fonts on our manjaro pc okay and after downloading ms fonts now we are going to download libreoffice since we don't have any office suite available by default there you can see we don't have any office suite free office or libreoffice so now we are going to download libreoffice from browser so we are going to discover that manjaro.org here you can download different apps for manjaro so now i'm going to search for libreoffice enter okay so there we have libreoffice so in order to download this just click on install so we are going to allow choose the password apply so now it is going to download libreoffice still so 
so now it has downloaded and installed LibreOffice on our system so there we can see LibreOffice and this is supposed to be the best alternative of Microsoft Office and after installing LibreOffice we are going to install some other useful applications so first I'm going to install Zimp and this is supposed to be the Photoshop for Linux click on install insert a password then apply so Zimp is now installed so we can launch it from here and next I'm going to install Google Chrome browser so just search for Google Chrome since we have enabled AUR so here we have Google Chrome it's built apply apply so Google Chrome is installed now so we can find it here inside internet so there we have Google Chrome so you can start browsing on Google Chrome ok and next I'm going to download Kden Live which is supposed to be the best video editor for Linux so simply if you search for Kden Live so there we have Get Kden Live so as you click on it there we have Kden Live so we can install it from here so click on install then apply choose the password click apply so now it will download and install Kden Live so now it is installed we can launch it okay so there we have Kden Live and guys I think these are the things that needs to be done after the installation of Manjaro in the computer and I hope you like this video and if so please like this video and do subscribe our channel for more Linux tutorial videos thanks for watching have a nice time